Hello and welcome to this web presentation on the stages of success. My name is Andy Heath. I'm going to talk about what happens when you move towards some goal that you have. This could be starting a business, losing weight, learning a foreign language, getting a degree, or pretty much anything else. There are some predictable stages you will go through when moving toward accomplishing these goals, so I'm going to go over them here along with the dangers of each stage. The first stage is the excitement stage, or what I call the excitement stage. This actually usually occurs before you even start on the goal. This is a period of euphoria where you are simply excited about the prospect of achieving a goal. The danger of this phase is that it's so pleasant you can actually get stuck here. It's hard work to go through the other phases, so this is a time you want to move through as quickly as possible. The next phase is what I call the terror phase. This is the terrifying and often awkward beginning to your goal achievement. For example, if you're trying to lose weight, the first few times you go to the gym or to the park or to, to jog or, or any kind of exercise, you won't know exactly what you're doing. You'll realize how much work is ahead of you. You'll feel like people are staring at you. You'll be tired and you'll be sore. You'll think this will never end and you'll want to give up. The nice thing about this phase is that it passes pretty quickly, usually in a few days. The danger of this phase is that it is so painful you want to give up at once. Don't be tempted to do that. Ride out the pain until it inevitably passes. The next phase is what I call the accomplishment phase. This is where the terror has started to subside and you realize you may actually be able to do this. You might have lost a few pounds, gotten a new client, or you might be moving well through the course in school. The nice thing about this phase is it tends to reinforce your idea that you can actually accomplish your goal. The danger is that you get too comfortable and you may slip back into old behavior. You need to press forward in this stage. The next phase is what I have tended to call the fatigue phase. This is the phase where you've been working on your goal for a long time and you're seeing some little bits of success, but you still have a way to go and you're starting to get tired. Think of a plane ride that lasts eight hours. You may be excited for the first hour to go to your new destination, but once you've been on the plane for five hours and you have three left to go, you may start to get tired. The danger here is that you'll want to give up as you give in to fatigue, but you must keep going at this point. The final stage is what I call the success stage. This is just before you accomplish your goal and lasts into its accomplishment. Let's say you've lost 20 pounds of the 25 you want to lose, for example. You've gotten 80% of your coursework done in school. You've almost finished a major project for a new client. The end is in sight. The danger is that you give up because you are simply satisfied with what you've already accomplished. But keep in mind your goal. If you wanted to lose 25 pounds, go ahead and lose the other five. Finish your coursework. Move across the finish line. This is how you will achieve your goals. So let's recap. First you go through excitement, then terror, then accomplishment, then fatigue, then finally success. If you can move through these phases, you can accomplish the goals you set for yourself. Remember that every stage has its critics. In excitement, people will condescend so they will, as, as they will when there is terror. They will lash out at you when you go into the accomplishment phase. They'll try to get you to quit during the fatigue phase, and they will tell you it was their idea when you start to succeed. Do not listen to these detractors. They may not want to see you succeed because it will show them up. Simply keep going. One other thing to know is that sometimes you may revisit these other stages for brief periods of time. That's okay, especially as you move forward into your new life. But as you go back to these other stages, remember that they are simply temporary jaunts and will quickly pass. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Andy Heath signing off. Have a very nice day.